Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel and happy fall! Fall cocktails are amongst my favorite kind of cocktails. The flavors of apple, cinnamon, and maple just really make you feel nice and cozy. Usually around this time in New York, apples are in peak season, so I wanted to make a cocktail that really highlighted them. But you know I can't just do a simple straightforward apple cocktail. So I'm going to be adding an unexpected yet delicious component that pairs so well with apples. Cheddar cheese. This cheddar apple cocktail is inspired by the New England tradition of serving apple pie with cheddar cheese. Something about the savory sharpness of cheddar paired with the sweetness of apples just works. The tricky part about adding cheese to cocktails is that temperature makes a huge difference in the flavor of the cheese. When cheese is cold, its flavor is significantly muted, which is why I'm not infusing a spirit with the cheddar. For the apple component of this cocktail, I'm going to be using some maple syrup and apple cider from New York State to make a switchel. I like to think of switchel as a fall shrub. Unlike a shrub, switchels typically don't have fruit added to them. Switchels are made with vinegar, some type of sweetener, usually maple syrup or honey, and ginger, and then they're diluted with water and ice. It's often referred to as haymaker's punch. For my switchel base, I'll be using ginger, cinnamon, and apple cider instead of water so it has more of a concentrated flavor. I'll start by grating some ginger. I'm looking for around a teaspoon of freshly grated ginger. I'll combine the ginger with 3 quarter cup of apple cider in a pan over low heat. I'll sprinkle in some cinnamon here too. I'm not trying to reduce the cider, I'm just looking to infuse it with the ginger. Once the cider starts tasting gingery, I'll strain it and let it cool. Once it's cooled, I'll add one and a half ounces of New York maple syrup. You'll want to go with a strong and robust maple syrup. Back in the day, it was classified as grade B maple syrup, but they changed the grading system back in 2015 to be labeled as strong or robust flavor. Next, I'll add one and a half ounces of apple cider vinegar. I'll mix this all together, then store it in the fridge until we're ready to make the cocktail. The next component for this drink is the cheese. I thought a cheese foam would be the best way to incorporate the flavors of the cheddar cheese. I'm essentially making a fancy cheese whiz. Shout out to Joshua Weissman for this cheese foam recipe. I'll start by shredding the cheese. This recipe calls for three quarter cup of shredded cheddar cheese. Now I'll heat a half a cup of cream over low heat. Once it's streaming, I'll add it to my blender, then add the cheese and blend on high for about 30 seconds. And I almost forgot, I'm going to add a pinch of salt to this as well. Once the cheese is fully combined into the cream, I'll pour it into my cream whipper. Screw on the top and charge with one nitrogen charger. I'll shake it a couple of times and then let it rest. You can keep this in the fridge as well, but my advice is to let it warm up a bit before making the cocktail. When it's too cold, it won't come out as easy and the cheese flavor won't be as strong. Now we're all set to build this apple cheddar cocktail. To keep up with this New York theme, I'm using Hudson Rye and Applejack from Cornelius Distillery in upstate New York. To my shaker tin, I'll add one and a half ounces of switchel, a quarter ounce of maple syrup, one and a half ounces of rye, and a half an ounce of Applejack. I'll give this a quick shake, then pour it into my glass filled with crushed ice. Now I'll just top it off with this delicious cheese foam. And here it is my apple cheddar cocktail. It sounds weird, and it is, but it's also really delicious. This rich cheese foam really helps to balance the sharpness of the switchel. It's savory, sweet, boozy, and all around just a really fun and unique drink. Let me know in the comments if you would drink a cheese cocktail. Thanks for stopping by, and I'll be back soon with another cocktail video. Cheers!